All right, gamers, we got some new news. Of course, we're right here. I am so tired now of it right now because of work, so I'm gonna try my best to do translations as best as I can. I'm utterly exhausted right now. Work was so crazy today, but of course, we got a new Jaren jumping right in. I'm really tired right now, so I'm just gonna pretty much right through it, talk about him and stuff like that, of course. But yeah, I saw this, I was like, wait, why are they doing three Jirens? Am I going nuts? So, of course, this is we got regular Jiren, of course. Standby phase, I like that, of course. And then, of course, we have a full power Jiren. I like that, though. We got three different. <laughs> I feel like they could do a UI Goku, too. Like, you know, Goku, UI, standby phase, where it goes into his little galaxy aura, and then MUI. I feel like they did that, though. I feel like they kind of just thought about it. Oh, no, no. They still planned a year in advance. But I like it, though. I was like, wait, we got three Jirens? But yeah, of course, they get a Doken um, official. Wiki and official, well, actually, yeah, Wiki and official, of course. They get a buff of them, of course. But yeah, we have a whole bunch of brand new stuff over here. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get started, though, of course. Definitely go zoom in because I do definitely, 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 definitely need that. So, of course, um, I think it's a little bit, a little, little eyesight reading. Yeah, I, I think that one's better. That one's better. Okay, so we have, of course, Universe 11 Key 4, also that's at 200%, or Universe Evolved Saga Key 3, also that's at 200%. So, he's pretty much a carnival unit. Koi has double litter skills. I think this is the first one we've seen with double litter skills. But 200? That's really awesome there. I like that already. So attack effect is 12 key. Greater attack defensive for one turn. Cause of damage. 18. Greater attack defensive, greater attack defensive for one turn. Cause of damage. High chance of stun. Passive does. Uh, let me make sure. Um, key. I don't know why my brain just farted. Uh, key 8. Attack defensive 350. Holy crap. That's like. That's like Doken on steroids stats right there. Disables the action of the enemy hit by... It disables the action of the enemy hit by a character attacking once. So it looks like when you attack once, you get that hit for one turn upon the character's entry. So, you know, when you first show up, you can do this. Reduce the damage received by 50%, plus additional attack defense of 50% when attacking, plus an additional attack of 100%, and a chance of performing a crit. Reduce damage received by 11% as a second or third attack on a turn. Not too bad so far, honestly, though. I mean, like I said, I've seen worse, but I mean, no, it's not so bad so far. That's actually really, really good. Because it's a little standby phase, of course, and just standby phase for five turns during the char uh, during the charge charge count increases. Um, uh, it increases by one per key sphere. Okay, obtained by the character. Okay, that makes sense. Like Goku and um, Vegeta's when they're in the spirit bomb. Because then the key sphere builds up to like, the actual like big spirit bomb. Because if you do it beforehand, if it's finished early, you can you know, do it as well. I wonder if Jun has that effect. Like, you know, if you do his active, you know, if you transform his full power early, or, you know, you just get a standby forever. I don't know. Can be activated starting from the third turn from the start of battle only once. Um, yeah, it was alright. Okay, so his links are Supreme Warrior, Shocking Speed, In Fighter, Godly Power, Terminator Power, First Battle, Legendary Power, Kagura's R, Holy Crap, Universe of Saga, Room of Gods, Full Power, Transformation Boost, Universe 11, Space Traveling Warriors, Powerful Comeback, Defender of Judges, Battle of Fate, Tournament Participants, Super Bosses. Not bad though, of course, not, not bad. I think it's a hero unit. I don't know if it's a hero or villain unit. I didn't check, but, um, that'd be actually a pretty awesome though, but, you know, every year it's been like a hero and villain counterpart. I wonder if they make this change to the villain just for fun. That'd be honestly. Of course, we have standby phase, unable to attack, defense of 350%, all allies get key 3, reduces damage by 50%, plus additional defensive, defensive reduction of 100, by, by 11. Pretty much his original passive just adds him to stuff in here. Per key for attain, plus additional attack with defense of 100%, um, and reduces an attack. When reducing an attack, randomly changes one key sphere to a certain type. Um, you know, besides AGL, two AGL, all allies get uh, attack up at 70%, besides this character, if they're, um, yeah, excuse himself, if there's a character, if he's in the second or third attack, or um, third attack or attacking key in the turn. And of course, it's, um, it looks like Shocking Speed turns into Cold Judgment. I think that's the only transformation he likes to get. And of course, when he goes to full power, he does, um, his 12 key now changes. This is a full power Jared. Great, there is attack up for one turn. Uh, yeah, greatly raises attack up. Well, greatly raises attack and defensive for one turn. Cost of damage. His 18 key. His new 18 key equals full power. Massively raises attack and defense. Massively raises attack and defense by one turn. Make cost of damage and uh, stuns the enemy. His uh, passive now. Key 11 attack defense of 400 percent. That's seven. I don't know why I said 700. A key 11 attack defense of 400 percent. Holy crap! Reduce damage received by 60 percent. Forces enemy super attack. Reduce damage received by an additional 11 percent for one turn at the start of a character's entry turn. Plus additional attack defense of 101 101 111 percent when attacking. Great chance of performing a crit. Plus an additional 
chance of doing another crit of 11%. With each super attack perform, plus an additional attack plus 50%. Guaranteed hit. Guaranteed to hit and perform as a crit. We keep swarm four or more. Plus an additional attack of 50% with each super attack received. Which I kind of do hate that though. So you had to get hit by a super attack to do this. Which I think is also a bro. I can't remember if somebody did that though. I, I can't remember. Probably bro. Like, you gotta get hit like a lot of super attack to get stronger. But I hate that though. I hate that because you're gonna take damage. But for him though, it does really matter. But yeah, Jaren honestly, disgusting. Like. Like I said, besides the, you know, receiving is, you know, after, you know, what each of attack received, it looks like that, you know, you get that additional attack was 50%. But not too bad, honestly. Good, another good, pretty good Carnival W, honestly. But like I said, Universe 11 is going to be probably his main team. Or, because, you know, we got a lot of that, you know, Guy Topo, you know, through Dispo, hit, um, him. You know, full power during the tech will easily probably gives easy A. That's, that's kind of obvious right now, which honestly would be sick if they honestly be like, oh yeah, we're going to release that, though, by the way. Um, I did see the asset from Chain Battle Engineer and Support Attack, though. I'm really glad they added that, because I really do like that asset. Honestly, it feels like if Tech Jiren came out nowadays, he would be like this. I know he's a Carnival unit, he definitely feels like a Doka Fest unit, honestly. He kind of feels like a Doka Fest. Whoa, no, because I've seen Doka Fest. I mean, kind of. I, can, he, I feel like he's a good standard Carnival unit, honestly. I guess I'll say that. He's a good standard Carnival unit, because I feel like Gogeta did the same thing, like, comparing Gogeta to Broly, like I did a few months ago. Um, I did like Broly overall though, because you know, again, he was a Doka Fest, you know, good as a carnival. But Gojira did really, really good anyway. A lot of people have him right now on Global. He did really, really good anyway though, so I mean, taking that W would be good anyway. The thing goes for Jim right here, like, he does a lot though, you know, he does damage, he himself a lot of key, attack and defense, he's self sufficient. He's gonna probably, you know, help you out, you know, the Universe of Father Saga. Um, you know, with the again, that team's already broken anyway, though. So having him on here would be crazy. I mean, you like, I'm good together, would be insane. That's gonna be crazy. I would, I'm gonna love seeing that combo. It's gonna be nothing because he's teching, he's AGL. Holy crap, and it's good though because last year was tech. The LR1, this one's AGL. Of course, he mirrors Goku. Oh, I like that though, I like that really well. Um, because in part two, I think they usually had the same typings, but this year they feel like they changed it because last year we had no Omega was AGL last year. Right now, I think the theory he's a carnival, you know, right now, I don't think it's a big deal. I think it's carnival or double, double rates, because last year Omega was double rates. I think before that, Zamasu was a carnival. I think he was double rates too. So he might be a double rates banner. Because carnival won't have the one leader score. He would have had this by now. Not this. So yeah, he might be. Uh, yeah, we won't know until he comes out. Like, until his Dan Dallin hits, because that's when we'll have his coin. So, not bad, honestly, though. Again, I see so many units like this nowadays. But yeah, before and after your transform, he seems really, really good. Again, they just add a little bit more stats to it, but... Of course, standby, if we just want to tank that. Because a lot of people probably just, you know, have another friend Jiren, you know, have this one, the non-transform one, then the full power one, and probably, like, the standby somewhere in between. Um, if you heard that little... Zip, sorry about that, that was a my phone going off. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I'm very impressed, though. Honestly, it's not too, too bad. Like I said, because what he can do, you know, key 11 when he gets full transform. Key 11, attack and defense of 400. He's reducing damage, and he's forcing super attack, and he's getting more attack and defense. And he's getting, you know, more additional damage reduction, and, you know, the more you do super attacks, the more your crit chance is going to be going up. Very much like tech during, you know, where, you know, if they give you an attack or defense on status, he can get a little bit more of a boost. And then, you know, he starts out with 200 attack. He starts out with 400. He crits, he did crit. Yeah, it very feels like if Tech Jiren was a Doka Fest, pretty much, almost. It's not too bad, though. I can't really say nothing else, though. Not too bad, though. I like the way he's, I like the way he's very, very different from other, from other characters. Like, you know, he is full on attack, though. You know, he has crit, but... Honestly, not too, too bad. I really can't say nothing else, though. Like I said, I feel like I've seen some of units like this nowadays, which we do need stuff like this in the game, you know, powerful units like this to be, like, Blue Zone. Oh, you know, Supreme Magnificent Battle is just called Global now. Red Zone, of course. Um, because we know we're getting new stages for those anyway, for um, JP anyway, coming up. Though we got a few new sub EZAs coming out too. So, Jaren, I think, is a pretty good A, plus, honestly, though. Like I said, you know, Carnival Double Rates, you know, whatever you want to call it. People could have rated him, you know, beneath them, like Gogeta or something like that, or, you know, Broly or whatever, or Beast or Gamma's, like. I feel like he could be in that tier. Like, he easily be in that tier with Yuan Goku and, like... Like, you, you guys saw why I freaked out over Yuan Goku. Him be like, you know, a, you know, a Doka Vest LR. And then, 
we see stuff like Jiren, which is like, you know, Carnival, you know, it's like double rates. Still doing good, though. Still doing really, really good. I like it, though. I think it's not it's not too bad, though. I think it's really, really built well and balanced for him. You know, he does, you know, give himself attack and defense. He does damage. He crits. The more you know, do super attacks later on, the stronger you'll get. You put him in the first and second slot. He can do his damage when you get standby. Um, sorry, wrong with thing. Uh, you know, we get a standby right here. Um, because again, base form really, really decent, honestly. Uh, when you get here, you know, you can tank and stuff like that, build up that. And you know, you don't have two Durans, one tanks and one, you know, goes full power, you know, or you know, keep one base. Like, you have so many different combinations you can do. Like, you know, this one, you know, standby, or you know, this one. Like I said, you have really some pretty good, decent combinations you can do with the links and stuff like that. Very, very coordinated. You can get very creative with it, too, like with Universal Survival Saga and stuff, whatnot. That's actually not too bad. Like, again, this is going to be a fun unit. I feel like it, though. But not too bad. But, yeah. See you guys later, though. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Great. I'll go to you again. Then, make sure to stay safe. Watch and subscribe. All of you are going up and on. Mads on top. Everybody ready to do it. Let's get it. Go ahead. 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 Again, not bad, honestly, though. I really can't say nothing else. Not not bad. Not bad for Jiren. They did really, really well for us, kid. Again, like I said, we need this nowadays for units. But, yeah, but you go ahead in the video here. Nice job for Jiren. See you guys later, though, again, though. Peace out. Uh -huh.